Hello and welcome to Yarns and Books and Everything Fine, episode 1, part 1. Why part 1? I've learned my lesson. It's the second? No, third. Third time I'm starting this. Um, I think I'm not allowed to record more than 20, 25 minutes. I don't know. Um, okay, welcome to everyone who's watching this. It's my, it's my first try. It's not, but it won't be good. Um, but it's okay. My name is Nina. I'm from Germany, from the rural area. Um, I'm doing this in English because I love watching knitting podcasts in English, and I love knitting English patterns as I understand them better. Um, my themes will be yarns, books and everything fine, as the title says. Um, mostly knitting, some crocheting, some other yarn related things um, will be part of the yarn part. I'm crocheting uh, since uh, around 1989, when I was eight. Um, my mom told me how to crochet. I wish to learn how to knit. My mom doesn't love to knit. I asked my grandma, who's a knitter, but she didn't show me uh, how to knit. Uh, I don't know why. Um, and around uh, 2009, I've been speaking with a friend of mine, who's an avid uh, sock knitter. Hi, Meeps. Um, I love your socks. I have a lot of socks from her, um, and love I love to wear them. Well, and she um, showed me how to knit, and um, I've learned knitting by knitting socks. Um, the first sock was ugly, but okay to learn with it. And my first real project was socks too. I love them. I w I'm wearing them. They look really beautiful. I love them. Um, I'm a slow knitter as I'm getting easily distracted by new projects, new patterns. Um, and second syndrome, hello, yes, I'm having it. Um, when I've finished a sock, when I've knit the pattern of the first sock, it's okay. That's it. A hat or shawl is easier to knit because I have to finish the whole thing and then the pattern will be r ready and I can use the thing but the second sock takes me a really long time so um, now I've uh, looked into my books and I've got quite some knitting books and yes I've got I'm having some uh, books on knitting socks two at a time and have taught me how to knit socks two at a time. Both methods, toe up and cuff down. I will show you um, one finished object and one whip. And uh, yes, much better. Um, I'm also a book lover. On the side you can't see is a, a big uh, book front. I've got a whole lot of books, yes. I will tell you something about this later too. Um, mostly I'm reading in German as I'm German but I am also reading books in uh, English and um, I will tell you something about the books I've recently read. I'm actually reading um, yes down there my, are my notes. If I'm looking down sorry I have to uh, look on my notes. Um, I'm recording this on my iPad. I don't have a proper camera or a laptop or anything. So if my the focus of my eyes isn't correct, I'm just sorry. The camera is there, but if I'm looking there, I don't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so, sorry. <clears throat> yes, um, Marilyn up here, my companion for this episode. And uh, vintage is a thing for me. Hello, yes, it is. Um, okay. Starting to get a proper finish. Um, for the first 
part of this episode. Um, finished objects, yeah! Um, six for this year. I'm a slow knitter. Um, I finished this one last... Uh, no, I started... Sorry, sorry. I started this one last year. I finished it this year. It's not for me. It's for a friend of mine. Um, because it's pink. It's a sandy coal. The hot pink sandy coal, as I call it. Um, it's by Olga Ivanova. Uh, the pattern is by Olga Ivanova. Um, the yarn is uh, Lana Grossa uh, Lace Silky. I think 30% silk. I've knitted on 3.5 mm uh, circular needles. I've washed it by hand with shampoo. It's very soft. It's a friend for a friend of mine who ha who's got blonde hair and I think it will look really beautiful on her. So, number one. Number two were potatoes. Um, I've started them around October last year and I finished them now. Three pot holders, the Nautical Trio. The pattern is by La Tricoteuse Errand. Sorry, my French is really, really bad. I had French in school, I didn't like it. I forgot most. Um, it's a Nautical Trio, a wheel, steering wheel, an anchor, and a boat, a sailing boat. Um, the yarn is Vendita Baumwollgarn, cotton yarn, 100% cotton. Um, the yarn was held double to get a thick material. I've knit them on 3.5 mm circular needles. I've crocheted some hangers. And I have to wash and block them because the edges aren't straight, but they are for me and I love them. Everything is fine. Um, this was an um, inexpensive yarn. Um, three balls with 50 gram. I've got some left, still left. I've already knitted a s second thing out of them. So this was the, uh, the second finished object for this year. And this is the third one. It's a little pullover. It's a pullover for Tolly. This is Tolly, my beloved stuffed animal, a steif mouse. Um, she's living with me since forever. I got her from my godfather when being born. And she's well loved and um, she needs clo clothing so she won't freeze. This dress is made out of sex yarn. The colors are um, Football club colors, sorry. Um, Werder Bremen. My boyfriend is Werder Bremen fan. He got a hat out of the sock yarn and Tolly got a dress out of the sock yarn. She has a knitted tail because she lost her original tail. Um, it's an eye cord. Eight years ago she got it. Her mouth is stitched on and her nose from my mother and from me. And... Uh, She's well loved. Um, and I will show you how the pullover looks on her. Moment, please. I will redress her. <laughs> I can't sing. I'm really a bad singer. I'm the worst singer on this world. I love music, but I can't sing. No, I can't. Sorry. <clears throat> um, yes, that's the pullover on Tolly. I will dress her. It's turquoise. Um, turquoise and diamond? Turquoise? Okay. It's the Norsi pullover, as I call it, because she got it for wearing when on, a vac on vacation when we were at the North Sea. It's really cold there, stormy. And a sh proper thick pullover for her. It's the yarns held double, as in my pot holders. Well, and she's beautiful. Aren't, isn't she? Yes, she is. And she'll be my co-host too. Yes. Okay. Um, number three. Number four is the Dragon Scale Hat. It's uh, a pattern by Knit for Brains KCL. Um, 
the yarn is by Gynx yarn, it's Gynx Decay, it's discontinued. But look at her shop, she has beautiful yarn in there. And it's 100% organic merino wool. And uh, I've knitted it with 4mm circular needles. Uh, circular needle needles, you know, it's a thing for me. Um, it's lilac, orange, grey and white. My ears are ending here, so it's wonderfully sized for me. Really soft. Okay, my hair. Okay. Um, and there will be dragon scale lace gloves too. Um, I have to knit them. I have the pattern. It's a free pattern as the hat. Here's the pattern for the hat and for the gloves behind. From the first skein for the hat, this much yarn is left. And I've got a second skein, yeah! So there is more than enough yarn for the gloves. Then I've got the fifth finished object. The fifth finished objects are socks. Sneaker socks. This is the amount of yarn left. Three meters. And these are the socks. First time. Toe up. Two at a time. On a circular needle. Three new things for me. Oh, you can't see the colors properly. I'm too sorry. Um, it's uh, violet or lilac, um, turquoise and uh, green pooling where I knitted the gusset. I love it. The um, pattern is the shell pattern. They fit. They fit properly. They uh, look really great. Um, I have to practice the cuff. The cuff isn't as I like it. But for first time, they okay. Tick. Just put together. Um, the yarn is uh, for, from Bella Lana Strumpf und Sport Superwash Marathon. Just 25% um, virgin wool, 25% polyamide. Knit on two. Dot five millimeter circular needles um, for the he toes. I've used this book, Toe Up Two at a Time Socks by <laughs> Melissa Morgan Oaks. The pattern is from this book, Zwei Socken Gleichzeitig Stricken. It's by Eva Jostas. Um, and for the heel, I've used a YouTube video as. Uh, Everything other I tr other tr I tried wasn't practical for me. It didn't work. Um, the YouTube video was by Halu H A A L U, um, and it worked. Yes, can't tell you more about it. It worked. Uh, and the last thing I've um, knit this year was. A test. A testing the fox paws. These are the fox paws. Oh, I s yes. Well, these are the fox paws. Um, it's a pattern I've uh, seen at Off Our Needles. And it's a dream knitting for me. I wish to do a, a shawl out of... Uh, 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 with this pattern. Not out of this yarn, but with this pattern. Um, I've knit it out of scraps of sock yarn and spot weight merino yarn. Um, here, these are the scraps for it black and grey, dark green, lighter green, and bright golden yellow. I've knit it on 4mm needles, DPNs, not circular needles, I have to admit. Uh, knit Pro Rosewood 
circular, uh, um, VPNs. And um, yes, that's my six finished object testing the fox paws. And now I will stop this. It's episode one, part one.